I am Dr. Advait Kulkarni. I am a consultant neurologist practicing at HSR Neuro Clinic Bangalore and I head the Department of Neurology in Columbia Asia Hospital Sarjapur Road. Any pain in the body which has no physical cause found out can be a first symptom of fibromyalgia. So any pain radiating in the hand where no, no cause has been find, found out, all the tests are normal, any pain in the back or any pain in the leg, that can be the first symptom of fibromyalgia. Especially when we look at fibromyalgia, there are certain key features. The first key feature would be a widespread pain. What do you mean by widespread pain? Widespread pain is a constant dull aching pain for at least three months, which must occur on both sides of your body and below the trunk as well as above the trunk. And these pains are associated with tenderness in certain areas, which are called tender points. Commonly, the shoulder the te are the tender points, the lower back, and there are about more than 15 tender points which are seen in fibromyalgia patients. Next important symptom is fatigue. So patients with fibromyalgia are often awaken tired and even though they report sleeping for a long time, they say that they don't feel fresh after the sleep in the morning and their sleep is often disturbed. Another important sy symptom is called brain fog. Brain fog means the patient has impaired ability to focus, to concentrate and pay attention on the mental tasks. People with fibromyalgia may also have other features like pain in the TM joint, irritable bowel syndrome wherein they have alternative episodes of diarrhea and constipation without any organic pathology, anxiety as well as depression. Other features will be patient complain of morning stiffness in the body, numbness and tingling of hands, arms and palms and feet without any organic cause, headaches without any organic cause and painful menstrual camps. So it is very important to understand if you see these symptoms, you you might be suffering for fibromyalgia, especially if the symptoms last for three, more than three months. And this is the time to meet your neurologist. Thank you.